Good evening. It's Friday. What is it now? February 2nd. I've been working on this trailer since the end of September. I thought I'd have it done by Thanksgiving and we could use it just to camp in to prepare for the quad surprise on Christmas. Thought I'd have it done by Christmas so that we could take it out and actually spend a night and do some riding. So here we are at the beginning of February and the time is going by quickly. Anyway, I'm in the garage Friday night. I'm excited about working on it tomorrow. I wanted to share something really cool with you uh, about the generator option. This whole time that I've been doing this, I've been reading and reading and reading about generators and I've narrowed it down to one generator. And this is it right here, the one on the screen right there. Some guy's got like a 40 minute video where he reviews this generator and um, it's quieter than the Honda replica, the one that the 2000 um, kilowatt Honda holds more gas than the Honda. It's half the price at 400 bucks. How can, how can you lose? So my heart was set on that until a friend of mine, previous camping buddy, a uh, guy that works uh, in Big Bear with me. And um, he happened to have a generator that he was ready to part with. And um, the thing's $2,400 brand new. I, would, I can never spend nothing like that on a generator. I just can't justify it unless I live out in the sticks or something. Anyway, this is a Honda EV3000i Handy. They call it a Handy because it's got a handle and wheels. Um, I, I would have never spent the money on this, but this thing's nearly brand new. I think he said it has less than five hours. And he inherited it, and he already has one. He gave it to me for about a third of what it would have cost me, maybe a little more than a third of what it cost me. And um, I'm so grateful to you, bro. That, that's just the coolest thing ever. Not only now can I use it when I camp, I'll have plenty of juice to do whatever I want to do. Um, you know, living in the high desert, we lose power sometimes. We get these nasty winds. I can also use it if we, you know, lose power to fire up the, the refrigerator in the house and the TV and whatever else we might need for a day or two if we have one of those kind of storms. So very thankful, very grateful. Ryan, thank you. <clears throat> I also wanted to talk about this heater thing. You know, I've got that big heater in there with the cool looking fireplace and I really dig, I dig the atmosphere. We've been going in there and just hanging out me and my little boy and turn on that fireplace but I, the more i think about it i'm always trying to optimize optimize and the the low setting on that is 750. works great so i found this one this has a low setting of 450. another very high rated heater um, and look at the size of this thing compared to it's it's a quarter of the size of the one that I have in there so I could utilize all this other shelf space so I'm like what you know I just spent the money on that other one I mean they're cheap they're all cheap this thing was cheap you know there's a picture of it from Amazon um, so we're gonna test this one this weekend in there I'm sure it's gonna be fine Marty gives a nice lift because if you hit one of those ruts and you're a little nonchalant you're not really paying all the way attention it can grab you and spit you through your body All right, it is an absolutely gorgeous day. It's supposed to be 72 in Apple Valley today. What a February. So we got the trailer yanked out and uh, just getting uh, my buddy ready, right? Yeah. Today, I'm gonna try to button down this battery, get this all Sano in here. I'm gonna try to build some kind of cabinet in here, get this done, get all this faced. Got the battery charging, got the uh, main shut off, shut off, so that nothing over here is live as I work. Okay. And uh, so we're gonna try to get this kitchen all done, get the uh, uh, get it all finished, and then we'll move to the back and we'll get that all finished. Uh, I went to Lowe's last night and got this. Like, it's this is the bad side. This is the good side. Uh, I'm trying to make some real thin cabinets out of these things, and I got a bunch of little boards like this. A little one by and little half stuff here. Um, I got one that's a triangle to use to trim the roof on top where those angles are. I'm not a, you know, I'm a tire guy. I sell tires, been doing that my whole life. I don't know anything about building. So I'm just, this is, I'm learning as I go. I don't know how a cabinet works. I look at pictures on the internet and stuff and I'm just gonna try to figure it out. So 
it'll probably be time consuming because I don't know what I'm doing, but you ready to get to work? Yeah. Let's do it. So I bought this little cord and uh, I'm gonna see if I can somehow engineer it to keep the battery stable. It's like uh, two o'clock and got this in here. Uh, got this going together more. Got this one done. I uh, got this strap deal that's gonna take care of that. And then I got this where I'll put a strap here so this will it'll ride here and then I'll be able to hook it up to the stove then. And I'll keep an extra one of these outside of the camper. Um, I'll always keep one and then when one's out, replace it. I always have an extra. So this will be strapped here. Right now I'm working on getting this built out level with this down here so I don't have an overlap when I finish the cabinet here. So here we go. It's about 2.30 and so we got this built out all flush here. Trying to figure out what to do. We might just do a whole door that pops up maybe. Not sure. I'm gonna figure that out. Okay, it's um, it's late, six o'clock, and I'm done for the day. Um, here's what I got done. You can see the kitchen there coming together. I got the backsplash of the top done. Uh, this is all just rough here. I'm gonna finish that with some kind of cool boards, and I'll mount the fans up there. Uh, the you know the fans for when we sleep and stuff. And I'll create some little tray to keep that from sliding around over there. Um, and guess what, everybody? I'm gonna have to cut another one of these. Three different countertops. Here's the problem. After building this out, it brought this out further so it's flush and I just don't like that. This is gonna be magnetized so it'll go and it'll stay shut. This will get trimmed out with something cool and we'll keep bread and hot dog buns and stuff under there. But, um, if I were to bring this forward, like a normal counter to create some overhang, then the sink hits the framework right here. So I want this thing to be, I want this thing to, to stick out a couple inches like this. It just, I think it looks cleaner and it, you know, it kind of hides the seam when you get this thing all the way shut. So I'm going to have to get a deeper countertop so three times the charm I just got this stuck in there um, <clears throat> anyway it took all day to do all this mainly because I didn't know how to frame that in underneath and get it all sandaled out it came out how I want it and um, tomorrow I should be done with this and then I can move on to the next project that's it on to Sunday <laughs>